Good morning, friends. Good morning, Facebook. Um, I'm Pastor Nate Borman, one of the pastors at Mount Lebanon, here to bring you a daily devotional thought from God's Word. Um, here to speak into your morning the Word of God, here to comfort, here to encourage, here to build you up. Uh, today, um, I want to talk about unity and division. I, I want to talk about talk with you, uh, not just from my own thinking, but on the basis of God's Word. Um, I want to talk to you about uh, things that can divide and things that bring us together. Uh, good morning, Brandy. Good morning, Tracy. Um, I want to talk to you on the basis of, if you look at the description of this video, um, there's a further reading from uh, Acts chapter 15 and 16. And I want to just explain the context to you and then talk a little bit more about the unity. So what's happening in Acts chapter 15 is the, the church was potentially divided. Um, there was this question, you maybe remember from yesterday, there was this question about what do we do about Gentiles who become Christians? Should they get circumcised? And, and so we talked about that checklist of things that, that Christians uh, need to do to be Christian. Um, and what the church decided, and I, I think it was the right decision, uh, it, you don't need to get circumcised to be a good Christian. And, and so what you have to realize is that this was potentially a very divisive decision. Uh, because there were maybe Jews who, who, who maybe felt like, no, they really need to get circumcised. Uh, I, can't, I can't feel good about these Gentile Christians because they aren't circumcised. I can't feel good if they don't keep the Sabbath like I do. I can't feel good if they don't get circumcised like I am. And this could have been a very divisive thing, but what, I, what you see is when the leadership of the church makes their decision about this is how we're going to handle this situation, when they make that decision, the church actually comes together around it. Um, one of the things that, that becomes very, very, clear, very, very clear to, to me in this is that there are a lot of things we have opinions about, but they're not worth dying for. Right? There, there's only one hill that ever needed to be died on, and that hill was died on by Christ. Uh, and so as Christians uh, who live together in the body of Christ, it, it's on us to put aside our opinions and come together about what, what's, what come together around Christ. Uh, Paul said to the Ephesians, um, make every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, which means it's going to take work. It's going to take work in me dying to what I feel is important, dying to what's important to me so that, so that as a body of Christ, uh, we can be together so that together we can be unified. And, and what, as I thought about that this morning, um, I, I can't help, I got, I got to say something. I hope it's a good thing. I hope it's helpful. I, I, I feel like I have to say something about what's happening in Minneapolis uh, because frankly, it's breaking my heart. Um, it makes me sad. Um, to, to my African-American friends, I want you to know I see you. Um, I, I don't understand um, exactly what you feel um, but I can begin to understand how you feel um, because you've told me uh, I, I know you can't learn a lot by reading a book um, But but I've, I've, I've tr I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to understand I, I don't think I ever will as a as a white person as a white man But I, I think I can begin to I can see how you hurt. I, I Can see how you're scared. I can see how how this really reacts and so this morning I want to just say something about unity and, and maybe begin to say something about how, how can we come together in this moment. Um, and it starts with this realization, um, it starts with this realization that we all bleed the same. Uh, there was a song that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, again, there was another racial incident and, and, uh, and there was a, and, and we came, there, a song was written, I think, by Toby Mac and a few other people called We All Bleed the Same. And, that really struck a chord with me because it's true. We all, um, all people on this earth, whether they are Christian or not, whether they follow Jesus or not, we have to start with this, that we all bleed the same. The blood inside each one of us is exactly the same. We all have the same creator, God. Uh, we all bleed the same, but we don't all look the same. And, and, and I think it's important for us to see that. It's important for us to see each other differently. Like we, it's important for me to see that you have a different color than I do. It's important for me to see that you have different experiences than I do. It's important for me to see that you have a different culture than I do. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that, that we're all the same in, the, in 
the life that we've had, the experiences that we've had, because we haven't. We all have the same Creator God. We all bleed the same, but we don't all look the same, and we haven't all. We don't all act the same. We don't all have the same culture. So we have to start there. We all have. To, we have to start with this realization that we're all in this world together, but we're not in the same boat. Um, that was something that came out. I'm going to talk more about this on Sunday morning, but we we we're, we're all in the same storm. Right? We're all living in this world together, but we're not all in the same boat. Uh, we, we're all, our boats, my boat is different than your boat. Um, the, the, the storms that we experience in the same life that we're living at the same time is, is going to be different. So the way I experience what's going on in, and the, what I feel about what's going on in Minneapolis um, is going to be different than the way you feel about it. We're all experiencing the same moment, but we're all experiencing it and feeling it in a, in a very different way. So as we talk about unity and coming together at this moment, I think it's important to start there that we all bleed the same, um, but we're not all the same. <laughs> and then the second thing is this, that it's important for us to realize that we all need the same blood. Um, we all need the same blood of Jesus. That the, the thing that's actually going to bring unity um, in, in, our, in our world, in our city, in our homes, in our churches, the thing that's going to bring true unity and bring us together is the same blood of Jesus. Um, because there is only one Savior, there's only one atoning blood, and Jesus shed that blood for, for you and for me. Um, he shed it for my African American friends. He shed it for my Asian friends. He shed it. He shed it for uh, the African immigrants. Uh, he shed it for all the people in this world. There is not one single person in this world for whom Jesus did not shed His blood. So, how do we get unity? It starts with understanding we have the same Creator God who made each one of us uniquely and differently. Uh, we're all living in the same world at the same time, but we're all di experiencing it differently. We're all covered with the same blood of Jesus, all, all of us redeemed by the same Savior. And then it ends with this, that, that it takes work to be unified. You know, I started by talking about the church in the early Christian church who could have been divided about circumcision. I, it took work. It took work for those Jews who said, I really think you should be circumcised. It took work for them to kind of get over that. And to say, okay, you know what, as a church, we decided that we're not gonna, we don't need to require circumcision anymore. I'm going to get over that. Um, it took work for those Gentile Christians to say, you know what, there are certain things that are important to the Jews that, that I got to get over, um, that I got to work on. So as a church, they worked on it. That, that's why Paul said to the Ephesians, make every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Unity takes work. <laughs> It, it takes me, as I'm gonna, I keep coming back to this because it's on my heart right now, it takes work for me as a white person, as a white man, to understand, at least on an intellectual level, to, to, listen, to, to listen to my African-American friends, to listen to the, the hurt and the pain um, that, 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 my, that, the, that black people are feeling right now, uh, to listen to, to that and to understand what it is um, what they're experiencing, what they're suffering. I, I, I can't be, I can't get in their shoes, but I can listen to them and I can hear their heart. And it, it takes work for us to come together. It's going to take work for, for people to, to stand up and say something. Um, we, we, we can come together as, as creation, create people who have been created by God and people who live together in this great city called Milwaukee, um, standing up together, walking together, praying together, coming together around the Word of God. It's going to take work, right? That's why Paul says make every effort because unity, unity takes work. And, and when the Holy Spirit works like this through the Word of God, when God's people come together and they do the work, there is great joy in the diversity of this world and great joy in thy diversity of our churches. I, I used to think to myself, I used to say to myself that, oh, I'm trying to remember what I used to say to myself. I'm so forgetful about the things that I say. I used to say and think that I don't see color. Um, I've learned that I should. <laughs> I, I'm learn, I, I've learned that it's actually a good thing to see color because um, <laughs> that's the way God made people. And I don't want to ignore the way that God made people. 
I don't want to ignore the way that God made me. And I don't want to ignore the way that God made you. So what happens is when you realize that we have the same creator God and we all bleed the same, when we realize that we, are, we all need the same blood of Jesus and, and are redeemed by the same Savior, when we realize that when we do the work and we come together, as, especially as a body of believers, as Christians, when we come together like that, there is great joy to say, I, I, love, I love what you're experiencing. You bring something really, really cool to this body of Christ. I love to see people as they are, the, the, the diversity that exists within the unity of the body. I want to close this morning by, by simply um, speaking a prayer um, about this time and about our city and about our church. Um, and I'm not thinking, I'm thinking about Mount Lebanon, but I'm also thinking about the Holy Christian Church. Uh, that, that we would come together around the Word of God and we would do the work to bring healing to our country, that we would work to bring healing to our churches, that we would do the work of putting aside um, our own opinions so that we can come together around the truth of God's Word um, and, and be covered with the blood of Jesus. Would you, would you pray with me? Oh, Lord Jesus, our hearts break to know what's happening in Minneapolis to, to see how race has become a thing again. Um, we keep thinking, at least I do, we keep thinking that maybe we're done with it, maybe we're learning, maybe we're moving on, but, but sin continues to, to divide people um, and, and we continue to hurt each other. Um, Lord Jesus, I pray that you would bring peace to Minneapolis, uh, bring peace to those who have been hurt and affected by this. Um, help all of us to step up in this moment to, to listen to each other with compassion and open ears to even if, even if it hits a, a, a bad chord in our hearts that we would just take it in and when people are hurting help us just to listen help us to hear help us to, to listen and to try to understand even if we haven't been there to try to understand the pain that, that people are feeling right now uh, we pray Lord in our great city of Milwaukee that, that you would bring healing to the same divisions that that I know are still, they're simmering in our city. I pray that you would keep unrest from coming here. I pray that you would bring peace. And I pray that you would use our church. I, I'm asking you right now for Mount Lebanon, but I also ask for every church um, in our great city. I pray that, that you would use our churches to bring people together, that you would use our churches to, to, to help people see the majesty of our differences, the, that we have been created by you, to, that we would see the how we have been united by the blood of Christ, and then to celebrate the diversity, uh, to celebrate the diversity that we share um, in the unity of the Spirit. Lord, Je Lord Jesus, have mercy on us, help us, and bring your church, bring our city together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning. I'm sorry I, I got up on a little bit of a soapbox this morning, but I felt like I had to say something. Um, the Lord be with all of you today and grant, grant you a great day. This is his day, and we get to live in it. Have a great day, everybody.